five teammates, man. Best locker room, best locker room event that happened throughout your NFL journey. Like moments, best teammate moments. Oh man, there's just uh, there's you know that that's like saying your best high school. You know, I, I have thousands and thousands, and you know, um, I couldn't I couldn't pinpoint one, but but. You know, the, the plane rides were always fun after a win. You know, everyone's lighthearted and spirited and happy and we're playing cards and just telling jokes and, you know, it's always a good atmosphere. So I, I, that's the one thing I, I look back in, in fondness is, 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 is the uh, after a win, hanging out with the guys on the plane. Definitely. So uh, throughout your NFL journey, man, if you had to tell a younger player some advice, what would it be, man? Um, well, you know, I got two little boys that are nine and 10 and they play flag football and they're going to get into tackle in a few years. And, you know, they want to play pro and all that, like all a lot of little kids do. Um, I, I would just, I would just say that, you know, uh, it ain't, it ain't going to be easy. Um, but understanding that you got to embrace the the hard part of it. You got to, you got to like getting up early and working out and running and doing everything that it takes to be a good football player. You've got to continuously do it. And if you don't, uh, you won't make it. And, and you have no one to, no one to blame but yourself, you know? So, so, you know, go out there and, and, uh, and, and give it all you have and, and stay passionate about it. And, and, you know, um, there's a lot of good players out there and they want to, they want to take your job. So, um, you know, my only advice is, is just keep working hard, you know, just, just no, no matter what happens, learn something from it and just keep working hard. Definitely. So life after football, man, the lessons and the trials and tribulations that you've learned through all your football journey, how have you applied those things to your personal life? Uh, my, my personal life and everything I do is definitely um, related to football and, and how I handle things in football. Um, you know, it's okay to get knocked down in football. You know, everyone gets knocked down, but, but how fast you get up, you know, what's your, what's your mindset when you get up? How do you handle the knockdown? Did you learn from, from, from what happened? Um, that's how you just become a better person in life. So I, I take, you know, I'm not a perfect person at all. And I, I just take day by day and, and definitely um, use all the football that I've learned in the, in, in the locker room speeches and, and whatnot to, uh, to propel me to where I am today. And, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very content. I've got a great, uh, great family, great kids. And, and I just, love, I got a grandkid and just, you know, really enjoying life. Don't, don't miss football at all. Um, I kind of miss a little bit sometimes, but, uh, you know, for the most part, I'm a huge fan. I watch all the games. And uh, so it's been, it's been good to me. Thank you for joining us today. We greatly appreciate the viewers. And this is the final episode of the interview with Glenn Cadrez, the two-time Super Bowl champion. We thank you for your support, and don't forget to like and subscribe.